What is going on guys? Welcome on to Arsenal Fan TV and that really is a bitterly disappointing result last night from Arsenal and frankly the performance simply was not to scratch especially for the team that was fielded. Um, you look at the team that started the game, you've got the likes of Kazula, Wilshere, Rosicki, Monreal, Vermaal and Koscielny. First team players that should be adequate of beating you know, a half strength Chelsea team. Okay, Chelsea did also play a very strong side. You saw the likes of Louise, Essien, etc. in their side. But come on, we were at home. We were playing with confidence. I would have at least expected to score a goal. I mean, the game started off very much in our favour. Um, we dominated spells of the game. But again, it's sloppy errors that are costing us. And you've got to think, when are we going to learn? Because we're seeing the same mistakes that we're seeing from previous seasons. Now, the first goal definitely went against the run of play. We were pressing against Chelsea. They haven't to make one swift counter-attacking move. Like we've seen in the past, there were too many men pushing up the pitch. Um, a defensive mistake by Carl Jenkinson. And it's in the back of the net. What annoyed me most about this, though, was that Will Shear was actually covering us pick of the um, And he said to Jenkinson, look, leave it, I've got this. I'm going to pass it back to Fabianski or I'm going to hold back uh, as pick of the um, So that they can't score. But Jenkinson goes in for the header. It's short and it's in the back of the net. Now, I don't want to lay into Jenkinson too much because you, you've got to think, you know, Wenger really has thrown him into the deep end. He hasn't played barely any games this season. And, you know, he's coming up against a very strong Chelsea side. It's not really the ideal game to throw him back into the mixer. It's, it's just really... If, we, we, if we're going to do this, we should have started him against Crystal Palace, where we, we, um, they're a lesser team. And it would have been a much more comfortable game for him. However, today, Jenkinson didn't have his best game and, you know, you got to feel bad for the guy because, at heart, he's an Arsenal fan and it's, you got to think it's demoralising for him. But this isn't the kind of game he should be starting if he hasn't played any games leading up to it. And the sad thing is, um, he's not going to get a chance in the league until Sanya's injured, which is just totally out of order. I mean, the guy, I'm a massive Carl Jenkinson fan, I want to see him getting more games in the league. But it's not going to happen whilst we've got Bakary Sanya. And the fact is, even if Sanya was playing absolute crap football, Jenkinson still wouldn't get an inkling. It's, not, it's, not, it's just not on, really, with Jenkinson. But, um, again, that first half, uh, we did actually come pretty close to scoring shortly after um, their goal through Nacho Monreal, who, for me, did have a really good game. I think that's one positive we can take. Monreal was absolutely sublime last night. Uh, as was Vermaelen and Koscielny. It's just Jenkinson that really did let us down at times. Uh, but that first half, it simply wasn't good enough and we didn't look attacking enough and we looked poor in the final third and you know the man that really stood out as being like not interested at all in the game Nicholas Bettner his attitude is absolutely disgusting and for me I'm thinking you know this is the kind of game there's been a lot of uh, tension building up to it he's gonna want to go out there prove himself get a goal and work his way back into the first team but what what's he done he's just walked around the pitch tried to stay away from the ball and when he has had chances on goal, he's absolutely botched it up. So I can't say anything good about Nicholas Bender. And I want him to succeed. But with an attitude like that, it's simply not going to happen. And you've got to question, why is he still at the club? Uh, I, st I still think he's a decent backup striker. But with a performance like that, it's just, it's just not good enough. Which is, brings me on to another player, Rio. Now, his attitude uh, is fine. He's a perfectly good player. You can tell he wants to be at the club and he wants to succeed. But at the moment... Not up to scratch. He can't penetrate a Chelsea defence. He can't get round their back four. And he just does a lot of running around, but nothing special with the ball. And we do massively lack width at the moment. We miss Walcott. We miss Chamberlain. We miss Podolsky. We miss all these kinds of players. And frankly, last night, I wouldn't have wanted us playing a first team. That defeat would have been so much easier to take if we had been playing the likes of uh, Isaac Hayden, Zellelem, those kind of players. Because, you know, they're kids. They're still going to want to prove that they can go break into the first team. But at the same time, if they come up against that Chelsea side, it's not so much of a big deal that we've lost. And um, that second half performance from Arsenal, we, we did really dominate. But then again, another goal that really did go against the run of play. This matter goal in about the 60th minute. Shortly after we brought on Mesut Ozil, who I did think was going to change the game. But that simply didn't happen. Uh, it was poor marking by Aaron Ramsey from the throw-in. Didn't mark Matter. Then you've got a question, why has Matter got so much space and time on the ball? And he curled it beautifully past Fabianski into the top right-hand corner. So, props off to Chelsea, really, because 
They took advantage of our mistakes and they defended extremely well, okay? They did part of the bus, but that's what they do best. And we just can't exploit any... We can't exploit Chelsea. It's, 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 hard, it's hard to take, but uh, if we had in, intentionally wanted to win this trophy, you would have started Giroud ahead of Bentner. The substitution, Giroud for Bentner, would have come at half-time because Bentner was absolutely awful last night. Um, you'd have brought Ozil earlier. You would have started Ozil. And that team was one that looked like it should be winning this trophy, that had intentions to win this trophy. Wenger obviously showed he wants to go out there and make a decent cup run. But it's another trophy that, you know, we're not in the hat for anymore. And it's uh, it's devastating, really. But, you know, it, you've got to look at positives from last night. Vermaelen had a good game. Monreal had a good game. And you'd think the likes of Jenkinson can learn from their mistakes. It's just a case of we've got Liverpool on Saturday. And you think if we don't win that, alarm bells are going to start ringing. And that's, that, that's where it really does start to get a little bit worrying. But, of course, we have got a team capable. And if we go there against Liverpool, get a win, write this off, we're back to winning ways and it's out of the way really and then we can focus on other tournaments such as the FA Cup, the Champions League, the Premier League. I mean, in all honesty, I would rather we ended this eight-year trophy drought with the Premier League rather than the Capital One Cup. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people would agree with me on that one. This isn't the most prestigious of tournaments, uh, but again, it's another trophy that we're not capable of winning um, and it's just, we, we've got to really focus on these other tournaments because it's, it is vital that we do win a trophy this season because it's been so long, it's been too long and it's just got to be done but I'm still really disappointed about last night's performance um, onwards and upwards to the Liverpool game really got to get a win there, that's absolutely crucial now um, let me know your thoughts on the game if, if you're really unhappy that we've lost and are you actually bothered that we, we're out of this cup or would you rather we'd gone on and won it uh, if you did enjoy the video it would be great if you could click the like button Subscribe for more videos, and as always, thanks for watching, guys.